Hi everyone. As a sim racing fan who's not that good, I do what everyone should do and throw more money at the problem. So I'm going to do the load cell mod for my pedals. Now other companies do this that you can pay for, but a guy on a random forum said like, yeah, you can do it yourself for like $20 worth of parts, which I bought the parts from AliExpress, so I'm going to do that now and show you how to do it. So the first parts you need I got from AliExpress, I'll put below a link to them, but the links die, so if they're dead or don't exist anymore, just feel free to comment, but it, they should be easy to find, like you can search it up yourself. The first is these wires. Now they are a plug that you need. I got three, you only need one, but they come cheap in sets of three. Second is a load cell, of course. I got a 20 kilogram one, just because that is the size people said to get. But you can use other sizes as well. You need these rubber stoppers. I got a couple, just so I can adjust things, but I'll let you know all works better so you don't have to buy any. So you can buy this little board in um, a company in Silverstone, actually, fun fact, so probably close to the circuit I guess, I don't know how big Silverstone is. Uh, this is the most expensive part by far, it is what interacts the load salt with the pedals. You also need some M5 nuts and bolts, and you also need this thing that came with your pedals. So the first step is you take a uh, M5 uh, metal screw to attach this. So uh, you have to attach this. In the lab, cooking up something new. Got my tools out, ready to break through. Building the load cell city pedal. You know the deal, gonna revolutionize the way you feel. Rapping the game, just measuring the force. Precision engineering, stay on course. Wind it up. The next step is to attach the wires to the board following the diagram online. Next, you will unscrew like the 10,000 screws that hold the pedals together. In the lab, cooking up something new. Got my tools out, ready to break through. Building the load cell city pedal. You know the deal, gonna revolutionize the way you feel. Wrapping the gauge, just measuring the force. Precision engineering, stay on course. Wiring it up, connecting every line. Realistic feedback, gonna blow your mind. Dropping the beats like a hammer on a nail. Every step precise, each detail I unveil. Bringing the power, no time to rest. Metal to the metal, put your skills to the test. You unplug the brake cable, which is a lower cable. Next, you have to attach the board somewhere within the pedals. I used a Gorilla Glue, but I suggest like a hot glue, something that uh, dries a bit faster. I just didn't have hot glue on hand. Gonna revolutionize the way you feel Grabbing the gauge, just measuring the force Precision engineering, stay on course Wiring it up So a bonus step that's optional Is to buy the wrong bolts And then get kind of mad about it So instead of going back to the hardware store in your city That you know probably would have it You go to a small town that's a little Above the same distance Get stopped by a train on the way And then go to their what you think is their only hardware store for them to have no metric bolts to find out they have another hardware store that's kind of more for contractors who have the bolts but not the nuts so you can drive back to your shop and you're so fed up you're not going to go and you just decide to get the nuts later and just deal with it now deal with it later and use the bolts you bought even though they're a little big and they're a little stupid and it would have been just easier to buy the right bolts off the start next thing you have to do is solder the plugs to the wires did every line realistic feedback gonna blow your mind dropping the beats like a hammer on a nail every step precise each detail i unveil bringing the power no time to rest metal to the metal put your skills to the test then you plug the board in Then finally you put the bottom back onto the pedals and screw all the screws back in. After the, you put the bottom back on, you can put the load cell back onto the pedal.
So here I am on my sim with the pedals working. Uh, so I got him to work. It was a bit of a um, more finagling than I thought it would be. Uh, if you look at the article that I worked off of, the, the guy talked about how sometimes you have to flip the two wires, which I had to do. So it took me a little bit to, to get it working. And I really underestimated how much force is required for uh, 20 kilograms. So I ended up having to bolt down both the pedals and the steer well, I bolted the steering wheel too while I was at it. But I had to bolt down the pedals just because there was so much force there coming up. And then even my seat I had to tighten up a lot. So yeah, 20 kilograms of force is a lot. I, um, I'm not good with them yet. I still, uh, I'm not great with the, the pedals yet. It'll be a bit of a uh, getting used to. See, you see me just lock up like crazy there. But, uh, yeah, they, they work. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching this video. If you want to follow along with more content I create in my shop, please subscribe to this channel.